your current unfavorable conditions are stopping you from achieving your dreams. This morning, I woke up to absolute chaos. Lacey was running down the hall, Jay, Jay, and I was like asleep. We got in last night from Florida, uh, like after midnight, and um, uh, the, the fire alarm started going off. I hear water, and I'm like, what in the hell is going on? It's like, the, like am I in a dream? Like, this is the worst, like, nightmare um, alarm ever. And so I run downstairs to grab the, uh, the shop vac down in the basement. It's 28 degrees. I'm in my boxers. It's cold in the garage. I'm trying to find the shop vac and I hear water as I'm running down the stairs, like pouring. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, this isn't, this is not good. Um, and I'm half asleep. So I'm like, what the hell is even going on? Uh, Lacey grabs a bunch of towels. I plug in the shop vac and there's just water all the way down the hallway. Um, the alarm is going off, it's deafening. And basically what had happened was the washing machine upstairs over a flue. I'm down here in the basement. The washing machine is up. We have uh, basically with the basement, first floor, second floor, it's up at the top. So the water has leaked through our living room down here into the, uh, into the basement and basically set off the, uh, the, um, uh, the smoke detectors. So, it took about uh, 20 minutes to get the water and everything under control to figure out what was going on. And in that time, I probably used more F-bombs and expletives because I was half asleep, didn't know what was going on. Um, and at the end, I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, I'm just thinking about how much this is going to cost, just the inconvenience of, you know, we just got our house put together and here we are. Now we're going to have to do all this work and we're going to go back to a construction zone. Just a flood of negative emotions. I'm like, okay, Lacey's got to work today. I got to work today. I've got projects that I'm excited about that I'm working on, and we got to move the ball forward. I cannot let this um, detract from what we have going on today. So I had to pull out all of the tools, the box breathing, the gratitude, because none of that neg those negative emotions are not going to serve me the rest of the day. And the, the lesson here is that life has a way of throwing unexpected challenges our way. And too often we let those challenges um, pull our eyes off, off, off the ball, if you will. We often let today's chaos uh, keep us stuck. We, it, and I think that we're challenged in, 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 in that way often to see how we react to it. So here's what I learned. Your current circumstances or conditions don't matter nearly as much as your willingness to take action despite the, um, uh, the conditions that you're facing. So taking small, consistent steps, working on your dreams and goals despite the little side quests that, uh, that God throws your way, is, uh, is part of the deal. And so never, never let your current conditions or uh, circumstances define your future. Life is always going to throw chaos your way, but success comes from how you respond to it. It's not about waiting for perfection or the, the conditions to be perfect. It's about starting where you are and taking action steps anyway. I've got a list of specific action steps that I'm going to execute today anyway, despite the, this chaos and how I feel about it, because I've got a bigger mission and, um, you know, the old J, the old version of me would get really, really sidetracked and not take action. So I'm Jay Teagues. I help high performing leaders work smarter, not harder, so they can experience more freedom, improve their wellness and have the energy they need to succeed toward their goals. So what's stopping you today? Messy conditions, maybe self-doubt, maybe the conditions are unfavorable. Maybe it's the opinions of other people. If you, uh, I'd love to hear, you know, what is your big dream that you're working on right now? Comment below. What's the action step you're going to take toward that? And if you need some help or assistance with that, I would love to, uh, to hop on a call with you, do a strategy call. So that's it. Keep doing hard things and uh, keep moving the ball forward each and every day.